Sailing Roadshow and we're here today with McKay uh, Middle School from East Boston and we're sailing out of Pierce Park Sailing Center. A nautical term for the right and the left. Does anybody remember what the right part of the boat is? Go ahead. The what? enough to be on the board of directors here at Piers Park and I'm chairman of the adaptive committee. We have we have a summer program that for inner city or disadvantaged kids is is uh, totally free and included in that we had about 540 kids last year so we've upped the amount but in that 540 some odd last year we had 143 disabled kids. That could and the be, rest are more inner city? Yeah yeah and that could be anything from hearing disability to MS to traumatic brain injuries to spinal injuries, you name it. Wow. We run the gamut. So, um, this dock was sort of uniquely designed for the sonar. As you can see that the, the level of the dock right here is literally the same level as it is to get across onto the sonar. So a paraplegic like myself can transfer across pretty easily. Oh, wow. Pretty simple. That is, that's really cool. The dismount yeah, isn't, isn't, isn't as graceful. <laughs> I gotta go up. Do you want a hand? Or, I mean, that might no, even I got it. help you less if you already have it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Voila. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, we have a system here um, called the Sip and Puff steering system and it's electronic system that is done purely with the breath through a straw. The skipper needs not to be able to move anything and even in some cases our skippers are so disabled that they cannot actually breathe on their own and they have electronic breathing boxes that uh, oh. assist them in their breathing while they're out there on the water. Some of our skippers when they came out on the boats for the first time with these sip and puff systems um, it was the first time they had ever left their wheelchair. Wow. Use them, and um, there's there are sailors out on the Paralympic circuit using these type of systems, and they are competitive. Um, at Sail for Gold last week, there was a woman who was using the joystick component of the same system, and um, she came in third place from Australia, and she steered with her foot. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's the that's, that's amazing. The, it is amazing. And our sport is so amazing in that it can accommodate everyone with the right equipment. And yeah. um, I would just continually like to keep opening people's minds to have this type of equipment at their sailing centers or or offer it to people who are disabled so that they can enjoy our sport like we do. What we're trying to do and I don't know how successful we'll be, we're trying to make this as a part of of anyone's rehab and it just means that you take some of these people that are in wheelchairs and you put them in a boat and you don't take them for a boat ride you say okay now you're going to drive and the tears from the families that sit on the dock and watch their husband or father sail away on a boat it's just it's the best thing since sliced bread I live for that now <laughs> <laughs> 